Okay, let's not break it. So welcome back to my channel. Today we have an exciting unboxing from Weavers. 17's latest light stick, the Carrot Bong version 3. There has been a lot of negative reaction towards this new Carrot Bong, but I personally I mean, I kind of like it. A lot of my friends are like, of course you like it when your Instagram looks like this and your Pinterest looks like this and your closet looks like this. <laughs> They're like, of course it is your aesthetic, but the major complaint is that it is not 17's aesthetic, which I do understand. I do believe a very valid complaint is the planned obsolescence of version 2. Many carrots bought version 2 during the Be The Sun tour this past fall and used it for the first time and now it is said that the Bluetooth will no longer be working for upcoming tours, which sucks. I say bring those light sticks, bring version one, bring version two. You don't even need a light stick at 17 concerts or at any K-pop concerts. You'll have fun no matter what. I bought the light stick because I personally do enjoy having a light stick at concerts and I really do like the colors, but that is my personal opinion. Okay, but enough of that, let's open it. Also, I just got the light stick, not the deco rings. Here it is. Here's the box. I do have the version 1 box that I wanted to compare like the colors to and it is slightly different. With the size here, you can see that the version 3 is going to be slightly larger. My personal complaint with the light stick is that it is just manufactured cheaper than the previous light sticks. This box opens from the top and it is definitely not as sturdy as the previous ones. I mean, this is a complaint I've had, not just about the light stick, but for albums. Maybe I'm just like a packaging nerd. Like for up until teenage, I felt like all the packaging just kept getting better and better. And then it all just became like flimsy paperback books. Okay. So we'll start with the bag. I do think if you were to purchase this at a concert and wanted to ditch the box, like it's nice to have a dust bag to not scratch the light stick. And here's the strap. I did buy this pre-order, which they said would have the pink strap, so I'm not sure about that. And the light stick. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Okay, I hope this lighting is better. I've got to say, after looking at all the photos on Twitter and just looking at it through my camera lens right now, the light stick does not photograph the best, but it definitely looks a lot better in person. The handle is a lot more holographic in person, but I feel like through the lens you can only see the yellow shimmer. I'm kind of obsessed with how it matches my nails right now. <laughs> okay, but the big thing I did want to get through with this video is just comparing this light stick to the previous ones and using the previous accessories and seeing how they fit in with this new light stick. And here is a comparison with the version 2. I do enjoy how the design is more cylindrical instead of a cone shape. And I remember this line being such a big complaint when the version 2 came out. People hated it. And I do think making the battery port of making and I do think making the battery port more sleek on the version three. And I do think making the battery port more sleek on the version three is nice. Although one of my biggest hopes for this was that it would just be rechargeable. Here's a comparison with version 1. This guy has been through a lot. I do, like, version 1 has and will always be my favorite light stick. I think it's so cute. Um, if you're wondering why all the straps are gone, it is because they both have broke during previous concerts. So the bar is on the floor for this new blue strap, I guess. Version 1 is just so well crafted. There's no, like, line over top like this version 3 also has this line but this is just like a production cost thing like they definitely cut cost by making two halves of this plastic versus one 
Anyways, one thing I did want to try out is testing out the different diamonds in the version 3. And I also have this diamond set. This is from Ideal Cut. It was when the version 1 was the only light stick. Okay, let's not break it. Um, I might have to use this. Time to inspect, like, this is when I, like, like to inspect everything. I do, um, there are less LEDs than the previous versions, but I don't know if they're larger. I did see that the version 3 was less bright than the version 2, and you can definitely see that with the LEDs. But I do like how there is the cutout 17 here, so it will show through. I do think the bases are slightly different. The bases are slightly different and you get this like little gapping. You can also just replace it with this. So if you have the version 2, you can just replace it and design it how you would like it. I don't think the version 3 globe fits with the version 2 pink base, and that is just an observation. Maybe I'm twisting it wrong. Version 1, of course, does not fit, though. <laughs> Let's try these diamonds. The main base does not fit, but I do think all the diamonds are interchangeable. I wonder if we use this. Now it looks just like the previews. <laughs> Okay, this makes me really happy that all of the diamonds fit within every light stick which means if they do release more diamonds you can use these brand new diamonds in the old light sticks okay i feel like i'm just making a mess okay to conclude Every diamond can fit in every base, which is great. The version 1 base and the keyring base can only fit within the version 1 light stick. The version 2 base prefers the version 2 globe, and the version 3 base prefers the version 3 globe with how they twist in. Let me clean up and try the light stick out, because this is taking too long. <laughs> The bottom comes off like this. I do think that makes it so easy to decorate if you would like to decorate. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, I replaced the batteries. Now we can see how it goes. going oh it's sinking i don't i should have read the instructions what do the bluetooth do i see the memo now about holding the light stick upside down i can just see future concerts with people replacing the batteries and the decor rings just falling on the floor now that's a big design flaw okay press and hold one to turn on the product okay to change the color of the led lights press one okay Change the flash speed, press two. Oh, so it's like blinking. Oh, 
color shaking mode when it's on hold too. Okay. I guess that's pretty cool. Overall, even though there are a few flaws with the light stick, I do not think a version 4 would be the best solution. And I am happy that I bought it now since I do want this light stick eventually and I wouldn't want to be in a merch line during the upcoming tour since I know those lines can be really long. I do hope if they release at least one accessory in the future for this light stick, it would be the portable battery pack. They have released one with both versions 1 and 2. And it's just much easier for me when I'm traveling on tour, like this one I'm showing. Since when I fly, sometimes TSA is not the biggest fan of the AAA batteries and will throw them out for me. But with the battery pack, I don't have to worry about it. And it doubles as a portable charger, which is great because my phone always runs out of battery during concerts. Here's just me demonstrating like how to use it with the previous light stick. It is not compatible with this new version 3. Thank you for watching the video. I'm sorry if I was complaining too much about the light stick. I do truly like it, but like and subscribe or comment if you have any questions about it. I hope I can answer them.